Hi everybody, my name is Jeremy Fiesel. I am a game designer working on the Island Expeditions feature for Battle for Azeroth. And with me today is my producer. Yes, hello, my name is Daniel Stahl and I'm working with Jeremy on this wonderful feature that I have to say I'm really in love with. Yeah, we're, we're super excited to be able to talk to you today about the Island Expeditions feature. This is kind of the first time we've talked about it since BlizzCon and we've got some really interesting stuff to chat about. Yeah. So at its core, your goal on an island expedition is to show up and gain Azerite. This is this powerful substance, the blood of the planet, that empowers your heart of Azeroth, but is also being used by both the Alliance and the Horde as a weapon of war. Players are going to gain Azerite from a variety of different sources. Everything from Azerite crystals of all different sizes growing up all over the place, to treasure chests where the denizens of the island have gathered up some of it for themselves. You might fight powerful rare spawns, rare elite chieftains of whatever the island's inhabitants happen to be. And that's one of the things that I think we were really trying to capture with Island Expeditions was this feeling that you're exploring this uncharted land, that we're not just going to put all the sources of Azerite on your map from the start. In fact, you'll be limited in what you can see based on yourself and your party members' visibility. So you have to explore your way across the landscape a little bit. That, to me, that's what makes it feel like an expedition because I'm not you know, looking at my objective tracker saying, okay, let's do this, this, this. We, we have to talk, we have to decide as a team what's the right strategy for us. And you know, another one of those layers that I think helps make this a fun adventure is that unlike a lot of the spawning in WoW, nothing on islands is static. You might spawn up at a location and sometimes there's a Hosen fisherman there. And sometimes it's a giant clam and sometimes it's a quest giver trapped in a cage that needs a key. We have these hundreds of locations all across the landscape and tons of different things can show up there, ensuring that it's a completely different adventure every time that you go there. And so while you're on this expedition, you're going to be looking for sources of Azerite, but then an event's going to occur. Yeah, you might be traveling up a hill to get a, a chunk of Azerite, and then all of a sudden, the ground shakes underneath you, and Azerite springs up from a separate location on the, on the island where it wasn't there before. Mm -hmm. Suddenly, you have to make a decision about whether or not you're going to run back there and grab the Azerite, or do you keep going the same direction you are? You're not the only ones that are after this Azerite. It's not just Horde and Alliance that are trying to get this stuff. There's other people, right? Yeah, tons of groups of creatures all across Azeroth are after this stuff. I mean, really, whoever has the most of it is going to have the most power. So you're going to find everything from the Naga to elemental lords will show up as you start gathering Azerite on the island and try to take it from you. And you know, Daniel, you're not alone on the island. It's not just the Alliance there. There are Horde forces there as well. That's right. Uh, well, depending on which faction you're playing, I'm playing the Horde, for example. And I look out, and there's another ship of the other faction, and these aren't players. There's something different. There's something new. So this is a new group of creatures that we're calling advanced NPCs. They have more abilities than you might be expecting from a creature in World of Warcraft, and they have intricate knowledge of how to play through this gameplay space. Oh, they can they? play <laughs> the island just like a player can, and will really give you a run for your money in terms of trying to get the Azerite. You know, the team's been having a lot of fun making these enemy champions. Uh, first thing I do when I roll up to an island is I get off the boat and I immediately want to know who am I facing. Absolutely. So we've been having a lot of fun from a couple of different perspectives. One of them is just making interesting members of the opposing faction to fight. If you're a Horde character, it's a lot of fun to fight a really wacky group of mechanized gnome characters. If you're an Alliance player, of course you expect to fight a headhunter dark spear troll that really encapsulates what it means to be a dark spear member of the Horde. But in addition, our AI NPCs also have different tactical layers. So one particular group of the enemies might play the island by getting a little bit more in your face and trying to take the Azerite from you as a very aggressive group, while another group might be more defensive and prefer to avoid the player and try to take the Azerite out from under you in areas that you're not going to. You're so sneaky. We have this wide variety of different abilities to give the AI tactical knowledge of the island, and that means that they're also very unpredictable. You're never quite sure which group you're going to be facing off against and what tactic they're going to take to try to win today. All right, so we're planning on having four different difficulties, normal, heroic, and mythic, of course, but also a separate PvP difficulty where you can race against three flesh and bones members of the opposing faction to see who can get the Azerite first. You know, I've been jumping into islands and really having a lot of fun. 
Uh, one thing that really sticks out to me is that I get to play my character the way I love to play my character. I'm there with my team. We're trying to figure out which way to go, what's the best strategy. And depending on who I'm with, I really get to play a role. And that feels very special to me. A lot of the creatures on the islands have been built with that idea in mind, that you have a set of tools in your toolbox as a player. You have interrupts, you have stuns. So we've created powerful elites that are maybe pretty difficult to take on on your own. And that to me is probably one of my favorite parts of it is that when you arrive on the island, you don't know where the challenge is going to be. You might see a large Azurite cluster in the middle of three elites and knowing that you can't take that on, but with some coordination, with some consumable usage, with some usage of the things that you find on the island, you definitely can overcome it at a certain point. You know, thank you for letting us talk to you about Islands Expeditions. It's really been fun. It's a feature we're really excited about personally, and we're also very eager to get it into your hands as soon as possible. So thanks for listening. On behalf of the World of Warcraft development team, we hope you enjoy Battle for Azeroth.